How's everybody doing? First and foremost, I want to thank you all for coming out here. I see a couple of familiar faces in the audience. I see a couple of my friends, a couple some family members. I know some of you guys came out of your way to come see me, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. For everyone else that came out to see the other talent, I'm sure they appreciate that too. And we're we're gonna put on a show for you guys today, man. More importantly, before I start my segment, I gotta thank the man that goes by many names. He picks a different name each day. Some of you guys know him as Wordman. Some of you guys know him as Mr. Alkamusi. Some of you guys know him as Yusuf. Some in the audience called him Alkamumu. <laughs> but Mr. Alkamusi, he's been my teacher for two and a half years. He's the one that put this all together. Let's all give him a big round of applause. All right, guys. December 20th, 2022, it was a big day. I had, I sent out an 11-page love letter to the love of my life. And today, February 15th, I was expecting a letter back, and I got the letter back. And I know what you guys are thinking. Al has been up here reading his cringy love letters all day. It's a college application. All right, we're talking about college application. So, a little introduction. I'm 16. I spent my first two and a half years at early, two, first two and a half years of uh, high school at Henry Ford Early College with Mr. Alcamusi. I spent the other year and a half at Crestwood. You're not judging me, right? <laughs> uh, I'll be graduating from Crestwood this June, which means my future is here. My future is knocking on the door. And unfortunately, oh, I came into senior year. I didn't really have a plan. You know, some people since kindergarten. The whole point of going to school is for you to get ready for your future. I came into senior year, first day. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know where I wanted to pursue my dreams. I didn't even know if I had a dream. I walked into senior year, not a care in the world. And I remember, I was in my senior seminar class. Uh, we were doing an assignment. And the assignment was to apply to five colleges. Apply, show the teacher you're accepted, or show the teacher that the, the thank you screen, there you go, you got your points. I'm sitting there applying to Eastern, some random college. And uh, you know, it doesn't mean that much to me, because my future didn't mean that much to me. But I remember I overheard my teacher talking about, this teacher had three daughters. One goes to Harvard, one goes to Yale, the other goes to UMich, U of M, Ann Arbor. And she's talking about, you know, I go out with my girlfriends, one day I'm a Harvard mom, one day I'm a Yale mom, one day I'm a U of M, Ann Arbor mom. Some days I'm all three. And I'm thinking, my mother goes to UM Dearborn, my sister goes to Wake State, my other sister goes to Henry Ford Community College. When my mom goes out, she's the HFC mom, man. <laughs> and we're not gonna have that. So I'm like, all right, I need to make my mom proud. Which my mom was always proud of me, guys. But you know what I mean, I gotta, she can't be the HFC mom. So we're gonna take this seriously. I start researching colleges, I start making a plan for my future. I don't know how it happened. I found a college in North Carolina, man. Everyone at home lives in, everyone in my family still lives at home in Michigan. They still live in the same house they grew up in. I found a college in North Carolina. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where I got it from, but I fell in love with this place, man. It's called Wake Forest University. It was my Valentine, man. It's literally the love of my life. It's Wake Forest University. So I discovered Wake Forest University and the first couple of days, man, I was looking up campus tours after campus tour after campus tour. I remember there was some nights I would stay up until 3 a.m. Just sitting in the dark under the blanket with my laptop. I'm watching campus tours. I ran out of campus tours. I started watching Day in the Life of Wake Forest students. Six years old, but it's not even, you know, it's old stuff. And then I run out of things to consume, and I'm obsessed. I need more. I'm addicted to this place. I started watching kids open their acceptance letter with their parents. I'm not even learning anything about the college. I just, I don't know. It's Wake Forest. I, I want to know more about it. So eventually it's time to start my application. It's time to, you know, take this seriously. I spend, I started my application November 2nd, 2022. And I submitted it on December 20th, 2022. Between November 2nd and December 20th, man, every second of the day, I swear to God, if I wasn't doing something, I was on the application. I was... <laughs> 
I was obsessing over it, man. I needed to make it perfect. And what stuck out to me the most was, of course, I had a beautiful campus. Of course, you know, I love the student culture. I love everything. But what really made me fall in love with this college, I'm like, I'm doing the application. I'm going through it. I'm looking through what they want me to do. And I, there's this part at the end where you have four optional questions. You could do all four, you could do none, you could do, that's whatever you want. And they're asking me, give me your top five favorite books. Give me your top ten list on uh, whatever subject you want. Stuff like that. What fascinates you outside of school? And I'm like, you know what? That's when I knew she was the one. I love this college, man. And so I'm like, so the thing about it is, it's not that Wake Forest isn't, they don't want, you know, every college wants a well-rounded student. This is a prestigious college. This is a 26% acceptance rate. Similar, it's like U of M and Harvard. Same thing, same prestige. So it's not that they're not a prestigious college. It's not that they don't care about me being a well-rounded student. It's that they care about me being a well-rounded person. And that's what made me fall in love with it the most. So I'm like, you know what? I didn't make this application perfect. I love this place. I need to go. I need to be there. So I spent the next month and a half working on this application. And I, there was one, the, the question that said, what fascinates you the most outside of school? I decided I'm going to talk about space. You know, space is cool, man. Big place. Oh. I want to talk about space. And this had a 150 word limit. And I'm, I'm sitting there. I write my first draft. And then I write my second draft. And my third draft. And it keeps going. 26 drafts of a 150 word paragraph. That's how perfect I want it to be. I still have a doc, it's 11 pages of the same paragraph over and over and over and over again. Same exact thing, I might change a little word here, I might change a sentence, re re rearrange the wording a little bit, but it's the same thing, it's all the same thing. I was just obsessing over it. And on December 20th, it was like 2 a.m., I'm sitting in my dining room downstairs, and I'm on, call, I'm on a call with my friend, and he's like, it's time for you to let this thing go, man. You gotta, you gotta let them know. You gotta put yourself out there. And I'm like, you know what, man? I've been spending all my time on this application. Like, I'm tired of it. I love it, but I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm done with it. So we make some prayer. We submit it. That was December 20th, 2022. Today's February 15th, 2023. 57 days after I submitted the application. And today, I got my letter. And I haven't opened it yet. Like I said, the love of my life wrote to me today, and I'm going to open it in front of all you guys today. If you guys don't understand how much, if you guys can't tell how much I like this place, how much this means to me, what these, what, what these next two minutes mean to me, you got four of my best friends right there. After, I love you too. After the show, ask them how many times I asked them to make prayer for me. Or my sister. Ask, ask them how many times I asked them to look over it for me. I'm obsessed with this place, man. So, right now I'm at, I, I'm at two rows. Whatever this application says is going to decide which road I take. Whatever this application says is going to determine where I'm going to live in the, in six months from now. It's going to determine if I'm going to wake up and see my mom every morning. It's going, to wait, it's going to determine if I get to still hang out with my four best friends every single day, like I always do. This is a big moment, man. And if you can't tell, uh, I'm nervous. Alright. Before, before I open the letter, last thing, I swear I'll open it. I want to just thank everyone one more time for coming out here. I want to thank you all for being here to witness this life-changing moment for me. And I hope I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> Alright, I appreciate the prayer. <laughs> I have some bad news. It's not that I didn't... I didn't get the letter yet. <laughs> Listen, I was expecting that at 3 p.m. today. I don't know what's taking them so long. I don't think anyone else has got their letter yet. So I guess we'll never know what's going to happen. But, listen, listen, I've been waiting for this the whole day. I swear to God, I want to know as much as you guys do. I want to know way more than you guys do, if you can't tell already. So, listen, I'm going to go sit in the back room. If I get the notification, I don't care who's performing. I'm running back out on stage. I'm taking this mic, and I'll let you guys know what happens. But until then, I promise I'm not going to leave you guys in the dark. Or we'll post on a Dearborn blog or something. You guys are not going to be left in the dark. Thank you guys all for being here. I promise we'll get the decision soon. I hope it's in 30 minutes. I hope they send it at 8 or something. But thank you guys for being here. Hopefully we get to witness this moment. I got a notification. I thought that was it. I got scared. <laughs>
But thank you guys so much for letting me be up here. Thank you, Mr. Akamusi, Akamumu, for that one guy that called him that in the audience. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And uh, yeah, good luck on the performance.